What's up everybody? Well, I got another Asus G15 Advantage gameplay video for you guys today. And today, well, as soon as it's done transferring, we're gonna check ourselves out with some Elden Ring Shadow of the Urn Tree. And so far, it's been running pretty good on everything. So it should run pretty good on this. I don't think this thing could handle it maxed out, but we'll still try maybe some high with ray tracing for like three minutes of the screen captured portion. And then maybe we'll try just normal high for the, like another two minutes and 50 seconds. And then after that, we'll switch on over to camera or so is the plan. But in any case, I have to wait for this thing to get done. Luckily it's going pretty fast, about as fast as my Wi-Fi chip on this thing can go. So I just have to wait, what is that? A minute and 40 seconds. So not too bad. So I will see you guys in the settings screen. All right, I wanted to be a little more thorough with everything after the handheld. So we're gonna try ray tracing, even though it probably won't be the most playable thing out there especially not with the game maxed out. But as I always say, most people that are gonna max the game out or turn ray tracing on rather, are gonna wanna max the game out or at least have it be on high settings. So this is how we'll test first. All right, let's get ourselves a little gameplay here with the ray tracing on. And it's actually doing a lot better than I thought it was going to. I was expecting 25 to 30 FPS. Seems like it's getting more like Steam Deck FPS now. But this is maxed out 1080p with ray tracing, so I'm actually surprised it's giving us playable FPS. Like, I would want more than this on this particular system, but there's a lot of people that'd be more than content with 30-ish FPS with higher maxed out and with ray tracing. Though I guarantee there's some spots that are a little harder to run than this. This is just the beginning area, after all. And probably not even the best for ray tracing. There are probably places that are way higher for ray tracing than this. But I do not know where any of those places are yet. I know absolutely nothing about this. So I am playing blind. Now once I, if anybody does know of a good spot, and once I get further and maybe beat the game or whatever, then we can come back and find all the hardest to run spots and just run around all of them. And just see what kind of frame rate we get. But yeah, if it's this close at 1080p to being playable, it probably will drop quite a bit under 30 around this area once we get to 1440, but hey, I guess we'll wait and see. CPU is definitely working on overtime here, or overdrive. It's freaking 97 degrees now instead of its usual 96. But it's still keeping its clocks relatively high. Oh, more rata fruit. All right, now let's walk up here to our benchmark. The only couple of things I didn't use the same benchmark line in, but it's okay. I'm gonna kind of try to stick to it now. Besides, that's fair. That way everybody can look at the other videos and they're all in the same spot and you can all see how the things stack up. All with various settings too. Well, except for some of them. Didn't do that on everything, but. Anyway, now that we're on top of this guy's head, or where his head should be, why don't we go ahead and move on. So now we're gonna try playing the game at 1080p, just maxed out with no ray tracing and just see what kind of FPS we get. So as you can see here, we're still on the maximum preset. I just turned off depth of field and motion blur because I don't like those two things. That's just me personally. That's why I'm glad they gave us the option to turn them off. And the people that like them can turn them right on. They don't really affect FPS. Anyway, to the game. All right, again, in the game here. Now we're just maxed out, but no ray tracing this time. And wow, I'm actually surprised. Look at that frame timeline. I mean, yeah, it's got tiny little itty bitty stutters here and there as, you, as they're showing now, but hell, the beginning there was butter smooth. Now, hopefully we can get away with no giant stutters, but I can't remember what computer did what. Some were stutterer than others and whatnot. And some, I think it was this one, drops frames like crazy once we get to a certain point up there. And it's the only system that really disproportionately dropped frames that much. But that's not for a little bit more here. That's like up further past that like dead man hanging tree thing but first just like we've done every other time let's kill these guys real quick okay no he wasn't dead i didn't think i heard him hit the ground or make his uh, sound so and I also collect a bunch of freaking level up stuff by the time i'm done doing all these videos i'll probably have like 300,000 by the time i'm done Yeah, this is still more than playable right now. This is great. 
And it's not maximum that does it, because it does the same thing on high. I think it just loses like an FPS or two less than being on maximum when we get to there. See, we're at like 45, 46 FPS. I do not know what's up with that in this one little area here. There doesn't really seem to be anything exceptionally different about this one spot, but it just drops frames like crazy. And the GPU isn't working at 100%, but even when it is, it still would keep that up. So I don't know what that is. Must be a game problem, CPU bottleneck, GPU bottleneck, who knows? Could be a plethora of different things. But all I know is we're not getting the best frame rate in this little area right here. But then you get away from that area, or just turn around. If I just turned around and started heading back to where I came from, it'd probably go right back to being 60 FPS. But in this area, we're like in the 40s to 50s. So, still playable, but you guys know me. I like my 60 plus FPS, so I'm a little perplexed as to why it can't do that anymore everywhere. But anyway, let's now move on to just high settings now. Now, for the last one, before we go to camera recorder, we're gonna just do high preset, just with the two things I don't like turned off, depth of field of the motion blur. Other than that though, everything else is on high, as you can see right here. So, now that we got to the bottom, let's go see how it does on high. I don't think it can stay above 60. I think it does basically the same thing as it did before, but let's go find out. All right, well, here we go with high graphic settings now. Starts off with the same, like, buttery smooth frame time, but as you start moving around, it does have tiny little stutters here and there. But I don't think you'd even perceive those on, like, any display that has variable refresh rate. Those are the per these are the exact kind of frame time spikes that variable refresh rate was designed to take care of. What it doesn't do is if we were dropping like down up here to 47 FPS all of a sudden, it's not going to make that feel buttery smooth, I can tell you that. A lot of people have the misconception that it just fixes all problems and it makes everything butter smooth no matter what. And it just doesn't. Neither does frame gen. At least to me, in my eyes, but... That was pretty cool, I wasn't expecting to get all three of them one hit. It even, like, messed up the sound. They were all, like, perfectly synced. That was fun. But yeah, that move doesn't really probably help anymore. That's all bleed damage, and from what I hear, they completely nerfed bleed. A long time ago, in fact. So that's why I keep saying I'm gonna have to completely revamp this whole character if I'm gonna get anywhere in this uh, DLC. If I walk around like this, I'm not gonna probably be able to be any boss by myself. I'll just get steamrolled. I mean, heck, I still remember some random creature out here already whooped my ass, and that's not even a boss of any kind. It's just, like, a monster that's chilling. But yeah, see? Same thing. We still drop to the same, like, 48, 50 FPS here. But as I said, it's not quite as low as before. Oh, that's not the button I wanted to hit. What an idiot am I. I wanted to hit the attack button, not to heal. Can you imagine that? Somebody runs up to somebody you think they're going to shoot them in the face and instead they just throw medicine at their face instead. <laughs> or just start, I guess in my case it'd be more like just just downing a bunch of aspirin and shit. Just run up to somebody just pour a bunch of Advil in my mouth. <laughs> It'd be great. Alright, let's go on up here and stop next to this guy. Yeah, I really wish we could get 60 FPS everywhere, but it's just not happening. So let's go move on to a little camera recording gameplay just to show you guys it's not the recording doing it. Well, all right, guys, let's get ourselves a little camera recorded gameplay now and see if it still drops frames when we're not, uh, when we're not recording here. Because when we got them from that area, no matter what, we're still dropping under 60 on high. And this game is not the hardest thing to run. This laptop should easily be able to play it, at least with high settings. At 60. Heck, I figured it could do it maxed out and still be fine, but I was pretty wrong. Again, unless it was just the recording doing it. So we'll go down here and kill our three little people down here that we kill that we run through. Here, as we were on the way to these other two people that kept dropping down to like 40 FPS. So that, was that just because of my ridiculously high bit rate of my recording, or was that just because that's the way the game is now? Oh well, cool, I got a thing. I was wondering why it was so shiny over there.
still drops down to like 50 here. I wonder what the heck is wrong with that. That is very weird. Let's go kill these guys and I think we'll call it a wrap after that. this video on up. Well, all right, guys, that's a wrap for Elden Ring on the ASUS G15 Advantage, at least at 1080p. And I was surprised. We actually couldn't stay at 60 FPS even on high everywhere. Pretty sure we could before. Maybe I'm just misremembering. It's been quite a while since I did videos on this game. Maybe it was harder to run in spots than I thought. I do remember it had lots of stuttering issues when it first came out, but so far I haven't really seen those on anything. It's been a pretty pleasant experience on anything, everything besides that mini PC in my bedroom. That thing was like rubber banding and stuttering and doing all sorts of stuff, but what it was doing wasn't really showing up in the frame time, so I don't know what the hell that was. It almost seemed like it was that weird Wi-Fi stutter rubber banding crap that I'd get, I was getting while I was playing Fortnite and Call of Duty and that kind of stuff. But anyway, at least it's most of the time is a 60 FPS experience, unless you're not doing, as long as you're not doing ray tracing. Ray tracing is like a 30 to 40 FPS, FPS experience. Sometimes it would hit 50 here 
here and there, but most of the time it was 30, 40. And it probably would drop way lower in other places. This place probably isn't the most intensive place for ray tracing. It is just the very beginning area of the game. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys for this particular video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, because I sure as hell enjoyed making it for you guys. And until the next video, peace out, guys.